Running a nonprofit is tough enough, but when tragedy strikes, it can affect everyone who works there and everyone it benefits. Tonight, we're tracking the long term impacts of a devastating overnight fire at Goodwill Industries. Good evening, I'm Bart Bensoul. And I'm Heather Skoll. Thanks for joining us. Crews are still hard at work cleaning up tonight after an early morning fire at a Goodwill Center in Colorado Springs. A total of 12 trailers burned, and now the organization is trying to figure out how to move forward following this huge blow to their mission. Care News Channel 13 Sydney Stell joins us live tonight from that Goodwill Distribution Center on South Academy with a look at the damage and what it will cost the organization. Sydney. Bart, Heather, I want to give you a look at this mess left behind. Take a look at what this looks like tonight as fire investigators try to figure out what caused the blaze. We got a call that we are, are never wanting uh, early in the morning. Flames moving from trailer to trailer outside of Goodwill's South Academy location. 12 trailers full of fall donations gone, unsalvageable. A blaze that burned so hot it reignited again this afternoon, hours after the first flames, leaving cleanup crews to put it out. We are, we are devastated, though, by the aftermath of this and that we know for a fact that tens of thousands of pounds of our merchandise that was slated to go to stores for sale to fund our programs and services throughout Colorado uh, are part of the ruins of this fire. To Brad Hafer, who spent a decade at Goodwill, this fire isn't just scorched clothes and shoes, it's a hit to their mission as a whole, which is largely funded through those donations. The Low Income Energy Assistance Program, largely administered through us. Uh, we also assist individuals that have developmental challenges, helping them live more independently and actively, along with seniors in our community, making sure that they can stay as independent as possible. More than 100,000 Coloradans benefited from Goodwill Services in the past year. I've seen firsthand what this organization does in the community, for families, for individuals. I've had it, people tell me, you didn't just change my life, you saved my life. So uh, this is always just uh, devastating when something like this is to happen. In the meantime, Goodwill is asking for donations to replace all that they've lost and to continue to fund the programs they offer in our community. Now we've seen car after car drive by to look at the damage. Many of them regular shoppers wanting to know when they can come back. Well, we're told that the store is expected to open back up tomorrow morning. Live here in Colorado Springs, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.